title of my installation is Building Knowledge and Inventory of Strategies. The focus on knowledge at, this, at a point in time where urbanization is happening at an unprecedented pace is because we need to recover a new kind of knowledge about building so that we build appropriately and we don't create more problems than we solve in the way we build. The second meaning of building knowledge is that we are also building knowledge in places we go. We have structured the actual construction of the installation by involving three workshops in three places. In all of these workshops, we're following the line of duality. So here you have the situation of the German engineers and the Indian craftspeople, both not from Venice and both uh, working together for Venice. So we, are, we just arrived in Venice the uh, day before yesterday and yesterday was the first day we started setting out the plan of the piece that we are going to build in full scale for this year's installation at uh, the Biennale. A lot of people nowadays are recognizing the waste generated by exhibitions as something of an area that needs to, we need to put, our, uh, put some consciousness and uh, change some of current practices. But what is also interesting in our installation is that we are beginning with what the previous Biennale already left as waste. Being here, looking at the actual recycled material and having them neatly stacked and analyzing the, the kind of wood we have, the cement boards we have. Um, we, have we, are, we are redesigning on the spot, so we are creating, a, we've got a site office, so all our drawings are to be adapted. So having done this concept already, we have a network with people, local people, who are uh, activists uh, now called Rebiennale, who worry about all this waste that is generated on one hand and on the livelihood issues of the people in Marghera and in the outskirts of Venice on the other hand. So they try to make the uh, two ends meet. They try to bring two problems together to bring one solution which is integrated. Everybody should be able to have a house which is well designed. So the idea of Fulfill Home was to have an affordable housing which is well designed for all people. It can become like a whole uh, cluster of housing with many Fulfill Homes in one space with like an open space. So it can become a neighborhood. It can also be installed in somebody's bigger house. Somebody has a bigger house and wants a smaller apartment. We made a prototype in 2014 for an architecture students association convention in Chennai. It was fully made in ferro cement and uh, we realized some of the structural points while doing the design, while making the house. And when you do it at one is to one scale, you realize how the structure is behaving. After it was finished, the convention, we took out the pieces, like Lego blocks, again, we removed the screws and nuts and bolts and we, we got it back to Oroville. Uh, the prototype which we installed in India is now actually the studio of Anupama Kundu Architects 
and we are actually testing it with all the climates so we are actually working inside and it's so much fun because it's done handmade by all the masons living around the villages and they all come and visit us and uh, find it really very cheerful. The problem in housing in uh, developing countries right now is when it takes longer to build, it requires more labor and that's why it's costlier. So to create affordable housing, we need to do two very important things. One is to reduce the time which is required in construction and second to reduce the labor. But because we have a big tradition of craftsmanship in India, I think it will be very, very sad to lose all those skills which have been acquired by all the building craftsmen. So in order to acquire those skills, what we did is we involved them and we asked them to prepare all these pieces in their backyards. So now you are making the wax soft and putting the color, color in same, color same color. color. This has been an adventure <laughs> because every piece is coming from different parts of the world. So some pieces are coming from Berlin, other pieces are coming from Huesca in Spain, uh, some pieces are coming from India, uh, other pieces we are making here on site. Every part uh, has the, the, the sign and the footprint of, of the place that it has been produced. Anupama is trying to adapt this prototype to the local resources and we can research about what is giving its material to us. Here we have waste materials, there we have uh, human labor and how, what is the balance of, of the two walls and mixing in, in one installation. In order to include recycled material from a previous pavilion, we have to alter the way we create the installation, yet having the same effect that we actually want to have. It's already uh, an installation in full scale. People can, because seeing is believing, they can see what that actual house looks like. But we don't believe that there has to be a material authenticity in, in all the elements. We feel it's enough to have a few pieces actually made in ferrocement and the others could be a kind of mock-up uh, that are spatially and formally authentic but mate materially not necessary to be exactly made of the authentic ferrocement. So what we've done is we've made a plan where the, the actual ferrocement pieces produced in Germany with the aim of testing the quality and strength are actually the original pieces that you will be able to see in the installation looking slightly different from all the other elements which are the last year's German pavilion Biennale. This, this interaction, this knowledge building will have left everybody richer. So, it's, so that's what I'm trying to explain is that the ex exhibition goes way beyond its role as um, simply constructing an installation to share an ongoing work with the public. We're doing much more than that. Because at times like these where money is scarce in the economic crisis we face, th the best thing you can do with the funds that we generate is to invest in new knowledge and among lots of people who will be able to take it further exponentially. Mm -hmm.